I, 42F, think my husband, 48M, might have two affair babies with a married woman at church. We've been married for 20 years. In 2017 I found him engaging in online affairs. That's all I found evidence of. But I've lived the entire time with the feeling that something was wrong because everything you'd expect a remorseful person to do and think. He's the complete opposite. He's also randomly critical and impossible to get along with and displays other behavioral red flags. So I was always suspicious. But I never could come up with anything that fit. At the end of last year, something happened and I finally zeroed in on someone. Quickly everything began falling into place. All the questions I've had and observances about unusual behavior patterns. With that, a lot of memories began resurfacing of things I didn't know the significance of at the time. It all fits. I've speculated on various possibilities in the past but my suspicions never lasted longer than a few days. This time, with this woman, it's been since October and I haven't been able to shake it. The more I put together, the more it adds up. I don't have anything concrete, but I feel strongly that he's been having an on-again off-again affair with a younger married woman, and is the biological father of her two sons, who are about 45 and 12. I think she was already in TH picture in 2017. I know she's not the only one. That discovery was an entirely different person. And she was one of many online affairs. He was also on all the dating apps but swore nothing physical ever happened. Both of the kids remind me of my son. And my 17 years old daughter even commented on how they look weirdly like her brother when he was young. There is more than that behind my suspicion. But I'll cut to the main point. Recently I was searching for a file and saw the folder for FB data that I'd pulled in 2020. I found in his ad's interests. Bunk bed. Infant. Lawyer. Lawsuit. Real estate. Realtor. Teddy bear. Motherhood. And both of the musical instruments the suspected AP plays. In his marketplace searches. Kids Dino skeleton lamp. Loft bed. Student desk bunk beds twin bed boys full-sized bedding monster in my pocket cards pearl izumi spin shoes cartier bracelet backyard swing set both of her musical instruments several times mickey mouse pocket watch catwoman costume and the kicker engagement wedding ring our kids are grown the youngest is a senior in high school we don't have anyone close with kids that age to buy four there's no way in hell he'd even think about buying me a $4,000 bracelet. He's criticized every dime I've spent for years. The crazy thing is there's no way in hell I'd let him buy me a $4,000 bracelet. To me, this is the first concrete evidence I've found to back up my suspicions. But I've been suspicious for so long and had to accept less than satisfactory explanations for questionable things so many times that I have a hard time determining what's a big deal and what isn't. His explanation is, I don't remember, and, I have no idea why I would have looked at that. A couple of years ago around the same time this was pulled. Probably one of the reasons for it. He'd left tabs open on his computer where he'd been looking at legal sites about divorce specifically the laws for child support in our state. At the time he'd been irritable and we were arguing a lot and I assumed he was thinking about our kids. But even that upset me because he's always insisted that he wanted to stay married. He did then too. Just said that he was looking at it in case I decided to divorce him. About a year before that. Same thing happened except it was adultery as grounds for divorce in our state same explanation though it never sat right with me as one i have been the one putting all the work in to try to fix things and two he always maintained he never did anything physical so it wouldn't even be an issue he said he didn't know that for sure and that's why he looked it up there has also been twice 
Once in 2018 and once in 2020 I found him looking at pregnancy-related stuff. At this point, I have reason to believe he won't ever leave me. There is no way our kids or his parents would ever be okay with it. I feel pretty sure it's all a fantasy. Largely spurred on by her. But that he would never actually act on. I have no idea if or how much her husband knows. I'm also sure that my H will continue to deny anything he hasn't already confessed to. That he feels trapped both in the affair and in the marriage. And in guilt, shame and lies. And isn't brave enough to do anything to get out of any of it. That doesn't mean I want to stay married if this is true. I'd forgive him anything he showed true remorse for. But if it's come to that, he's past hope and so is our marriage. He knows of my suspicions and claims he's never spoken to that woman but like three times. They attend the same church as us. He always refers to her as that woman if I question him. Like he's Bill Clinton. The other day I asked him if that whole family moved away tomorrow and you never saw or heard from any of them again, would it have any impact on your life? He said without hesitation, I would not care at all if I never saw them again. It makes no difference to me. The man I married wouldn't have been able to speak a lie of that caliber without emotion giving him away. This one I'm not so sure. Sorry this got so long. But what do you think? So, here it is. I think your husband is a compulsive liar and an ah who has cheated on you a lot and may have had kids with that woman. I think it's high time you did some Google searching of your own for divorce, maintenance, real estate. If you really want to continue a relationship with him then it will need to be on your terms it would take a lot of therapy and a lot of willingness to confess and an enormous amount of change from him. Why haven't you divorced years ago? His behavior seems ridiculous. You're not a doormat. The way that I see it, you have two choices. 1. Divorce him. 2. Accept that he will probably always have affairs. Stop caring. Get regular STD tests. If you can't do two, one becomes the only real option. You'll tear yourself apart constantly spying on him. Try to guess what's going on. And even if you found absolute proof. What then? Do you actually think he'd stop? Personally. I'd go straight to divorce. But this isn't about me. I think you should have divorced him six years ago. 1. Why don't you divorce him? 2. Why don't you just ask him outright if those two children are his as a result of an affair? Why the vague questioning? From an economical point, this is just the right time to act. Your kids are all grown. They are not as dependent on their father anymore. Since you are married for 20 years, this is time you are supposed to prepare for your retirement and medical issues will slowly begin to creep in. However, since he has many other mouths to feed on, he will take and take and take and will leave you destitute and alone. He already sounds like a torture to live with it will get worse. This is the perfect time to jump from this sunken ship. You are free now. Don't worry about his denial. All cheaters deny everything at first. It is a wonder you managed to find this much evidence in the first place. Then they blame, say they are sorry, get angry etc. It is a well-known scripts. All cheaters behave similar. Hire a private detective. They will give you full report in a week. Go to court and destroy him. Don't worry about your kid's reaction. Do you honestly think they are so selfish to demand you to stay married when your husband has stolen from them and gave all that money to affair kids? How do you think they will react when they find out their college money is gone? Really? His parents' opinions are not worth the paper it is written. He is their son. They will always support him. They don't have a choice. Jump away from this ship. He will always lie with a straight face. Don't listen to his ramblings they are irrelevant. 
Seek the truth before you feel you are too old for a fresh start. He may be looking to divorce you once your youngest turns 18 he'll be off the hook for child support. You might want to just serve him with the papers first. Does it matter at this point? He's terrible to you. You clearly are miserable. And you know he's a cheater. It doesn't matter with who or if the kids are his. The point is he is awful and you need to leave him regardless. Let him deal with whatever fallout there is. Just get a lawyer and discuss options. He's not going to change. It do always be the church going, sanctity of marriage, people. Lol. This is also why you don't stay with someone that cheated. You just don't. If they cared about you, they wouldn't have done it. If they loved you, they couldn't have done it. I know, because I once did it. I didn't have a whole ass affair. That's some sociopathic stuff. You're still young. You have 40 plus more years left on this earth. Don't spend them super sleuthing trying to nail your husband to a cross. Get out and live life. Honey, you deserve so much more than what this awful person has done to you. I agree with the other commenter that said. This was the right time to divorce. If you're going to do it, I suggest hiring a private investigator to get some actual proof. Since it's clear, he will never own up to it and he's convinced everyone else that you're crazy for having suspicions. I think that what you found in that search history is pretty damning. How about you be brave enough to put an end to it? We are only as healthy as our secrets. I don't think there's any doubt he's having an affair. You've known it in your gut for a long time and the evidence strong evidence that can't be otherwise explained is there. I also think if you dug deeper you would find that there have been multiple physical affairs. And that this behavior goes back far longer than 2017. This is serial and substantial cheating. And his capacity to lie and avoid the issue is significant. He's the type of guy who is running multiple relationships at once. There are other concerning things here. He seems to have messed with your head to the point that you are quite unsure of yourself. He's displayed criticism of you about spending and look. That may not be anything but when I see that amongst this pattern of behavior I do note it in. Especially in conjunction with him being randomly critical. You speak of other behavioral red flags as well. I suspect you are correct that he won't leave you because his life with you is his safety net. It's a veneer of respectability. Some stability. Something he can always come back to. And I'm sure he benefits from things you do for him. You're making his life easy and given the character he is. He doesn't want to give that up. Those searches on divorce he did strike me as him checking up on what his risks were if you decided. To divorce him rather than him thinking about divorcing you. He is not going to change because this is who he is. At best you will get feigned remorse to keep you on the hook so he can maintain the life he wants. He did the bare minimum of what he needed to do in order to placate you on the online affairs, and does the bare minimum to manage your questions. So he'll do the bare minimum if you confront him with this. And I wouldn't. If it was me, I would do the following. I would go to a lawyer and get advice on how to handle this situation to my maximum benefit. I would ask them for a referral to a pie. No doubt they'll have one. And do some more digging. Only when my ducks were in a row would I leave him and go for a divorce. He's a nasty and self-centered character and you can bet that when his life is turned upside down he will do everything he can to maximize the situation for himself. You need to do everything possible to protect your interests and make it as hard for him as possible because he will try to gain the upper hand. I honestly suggest you look up narcissistic personality disorder. Whether or not it's fully the case here there are many elements of his behavior that I think fit with this and it might provide some insight that is useful. I would be careful not to discuss my plans with anyone who might reveal anything to him. 
I don't know how entwined your friendship groups are but hopefully if you need to discuss it with someone there is a person you can trust. I would start seeing a therapist. In part to have someone to trust to talk to. In part to work through the issues that are relevant now. And to have someone there if, when he starts to get nasty. I think a therapist may also give you insight into his character. And I think a therapist can help you figure out how and when to address the kids with this. Your daughter is obviously suspicious of something already. I'd say they are not blind to their father's behavior. At that final point of leaving I would go and speak to the woman's husband and explain the situation. With evidence. This is not out of spite. But because if this man is raising another man's children believing they are his own. He needs to know ASAP. He has a right to choose to leave his own wife and not to raise the kids and the sooner that happens the better for everybody. I have unfortunately dealt with someone like this myself and if my suspicions are correct. You're in for a rocky ride ahead and you must focus on protecting yourself and learning to see him. For the person he really is and what that means. I am so sorry for what you're going through. It's horrible. And I suspect you are in a bit of denial about it. Which is a pretty normal reaction if this is someone you love and trust. Ed. Divorce this gaslighting. Narcissistic poss. Ah. You deserve so much better. And I hope your children didn't look at your husband as a role model. He is not a good guy and he looks at you like you're a poss. And you are not. Update me. And why exactly haven't you filed for divorce? I'm not sure what else there is to do here. Oh. One other thing to do is get yourself tested. Those are the two options here in my opinion. He's cheated. Research divorce and treats you pretty badly. Yet you stay. Why? Where is your self-esteem? You say he'll never leave you. But why would you want him to stay? I think if you truly have this many suspicions, you need to get off Reddit and just hire a pie. I mean really. The best Reddit can do anonymously with the information you've given is speculate. You're just going to get validation of your fears. People telling you to simply divorce. Etc. But these are all strangers. And most Redditors are teens. So take that for what it is. If you're looking for concrete answers. The best advice in this situation is to simply bite the bullet and hire someone to give you the concrete proof you're clearly desperate for. Or to assuage the fears, suspicions that cannot be substantiated. I'd be petty and send the woman some DNA kits as an anonymous gift. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.